get there. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, we, we do not see in this the definition for the word hope. We actually see a definition for the word faith. But in this, we see the word hope uh, associated with two different words. It says, now faith is, the definition of faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the convictions of things, the conviction of things not seen. Uh, now in this, we have the de definition of faith. But within that definition, we see the word hope wed with two words. We see it wed with the word assurance, and we see it wed with the word conviction. The idea is that hope is not some feeling that is fleeting that can come and go, but hope is an abiding thing that is there because we have assurance and we have conviction for the hope that we have. And so when we sit here and we talk about this idea of a thrill of hope, the writer of, of, of the song, O Holy Night, didn't say we have a mediocre amount of, of hope. He didn't write and say we have a small smattering of hope. He said, he said, listen, because of the hope that rests entirely and only in Jesus, it's not a feeling that can kind of come and go, but it's something that's going to be there forever. That, that whatever it is that we're going through, and I know, I know as we sit here, that for a lot of us, 2016 has not gone the way we had hoped it would. In fact, if we could go back and rewrite some things about 2016, we would. we say, I wish that this hadn't taken place or I wish that this hadn't happened. And what happens is if our definition of hope is that fleeting feeling, then we say, man, I feel like I lost hope this year because some things didn't go my way, but it, because I put my confidence in something that wasn't exactly there. But the writer of O Holy Night says, because of Jesus, because of this miracle of the incarnation, of all of the miracles that we have in all of Scripture, the greatest miracle is this. Everyone wants to point to his resurrection and say, that was so powerful, and it was. But even more powerful than that is this, is the very idea that God himself, Jesus being God himself, that God himself became man. And as soon as we wrap our minds around that, everything else that happens in the life of Jesus, all these people want to look and say, well, well, I don't believe in miracles. And so all that stuff that happened, I can't believe in this miracle and raising people from the dead. And I can't believe that he himself is raised from the dead. As soon as that skeptic wraps her mind around the very idea that we have the incarnation, God in the flesh, as soon as we get that God himself came down here to earth and became just like us, it makes everything else understandable within that context. And so the writer says that when we celebrate Christmas, it's not, a, oh, hey, cool, I got some hope. Gee, I sure hope this year things get better. It's meant I have a thrill of hope. I have a thrill of something concrete that because of Jesus, and only because of Jesus, things are better. 